ले रहे हैं ओके गाइस तो टुडे आई हैव एन होंडा बीआरवी दिस इज द मॉडल बट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस कार इज द पावर स्टीयरिंग ईपीएस मोटर इज नॉट वर्किंग एंड द ईपीएस साइन इज ब्लीमिंग नदर थिंग इज ओके एंड व्हेन आई स्कैन इट डायग्नोस इट दे शो मी दिस कोड नो रिटर्न द टॉर्क सेंसर नेचुरल पोजीशन is mean the code is this one is mean the power steering motor is not working eps motor is not working so we will open and let's see can repair or not so okay guys steering rack we already open uh, here is the rack and this is eps motor this one let's see we will check it manual whether is working or not or something harness problem or what we gonna check it manual eps motor okay or not if not okay then we will order new okay, so for manual check we need one battery we must put one negative and one positive and then we need to take the two wires this is and we need to check it whether the battery okay or not we need to check it uh -huh. this means battery okay got power okay and then after take it we put one there and one here so our motor is working as you guys can see yes is working and this is working all rack working you guys can see yeah this is working yeah this is working is mean no problem with eps motor as you guys can see the steering rack is go in and out uh, yeah yes is working guys so it means the problem is with sensor this is the eps sensor for torque this one this is the torque sensor so it means the motor is okay no problem the problem is with sensor this is the sensor so now we going to check the sensor is working or not so same process we need to find the one uh wire we're gonna test the sensor yeah okay guys so we already found the eps control unit is located is here this one there that one is control unit that black color yeah there this is that black color not another side but this side there is a eps control unit we need to open it and let's see we will find what happen guys i already open so here is the eps control unit uh this one this is the eps control unit this way this is the eps control unit we will open let's see what happen okay guys i open as you guys can see this is water damage all water damage so we need to repair it or replace it this is water damage will open it let's see can use or not after wash i don't think so because this is too long or i will check these relays this relays maybe relay problem or something okay guys so new eps module i had replaced and now we gonna collaborate with the new eps with the ecu so we go to the special function and then just follow just follow the instructions and then we go to here this is torque sensor learning this is eps steering angle if angles mean if you replace the steering rack or angle sensor then only you can do so here is the all instructions you guys can can follow it and collaborate it and this is the clear we must follow this one all this 
and when you when you want to collaborate your vehicle sensors you must be stand up your vehicle like this stand up and must be tire is free and then both side and that's just turn steering to the left side uh, finish and then the right side and then your collaboration is finished so okay I had done everything already so we gonna start it now let's see how as you guys can see no light anymore here for EPS this one because of this switch this switch is not working this is traction control but the light is already finished so we're gonna switch off ignition again here this is the key in my hand we put back again and we'll start it again yes no EPS light guys okay thank you we will make another video if you have got another issue okay